we have an update for everybody. Uh, for those of you who are new to our channel, who haven't heard about what we're doing, uh, we are currently transitioning our lives from where we currently live now to converting our business space into a livable residence. So let me back up just a little bit. We're rewind. currently rewind. We're currently in our home. Um, we live just outside of Tampa right now. It's a little like um, this is. It's kind of like a duplex style. Yes, house. we have one shared wall with our neighbor. Yes, exactly. And it's it's a smaller place. It's um, what just under sixteen hundred square it's feet. Fifteen hundred and twenty one square feet. There you go. Three bedroom, two bathroom. It's been a great little place. We got a great deal on it. We've renovated it quite a bit. We've never done a tour of this house, but we probably will before we yeah. leave. Good um, idea. Yeah. And then about a year and a half ago, we purchased um, some land about 40 minutes away from this place. We purchased five acres and on that five acres, there's two buildings. There's one warehouse that's, that's finished out, almost like a house, but it's like a big open space. So that warehouse is finished out um, 3,400 square feet. It's a little over. Yep. A little over. And then the other warehouse next to it is unfinished, so kind of just open, but a big warehouse structure. And that one is... 6,400 square feet. 6,400 square feet. Again, a little feet. over. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then again, it's on five acres. It's a very pretty piece of property. And that's where we run our business out of. So we buy and sell stuff online. That's how we make a living. And we bought that piece of property purely to run our business out of. But what's happened... With because the mortgage for that property was actually slightly cheaper than rent. And all things considered, it was four times the space. So it was True. significantly cheaper. Yes. Yes. Actually, let me explain that side of things too, because mm, people are yeah. interested in that. Huh. Um, so this, this house here, we actually purchased cash when we bought this house. Um, it appreciated in value over the years. We've been in this place for what, eight years? Almost eight years. Yeah, since 2013, November. Yes. Mm -hmm. We bought it as a short sale. We waited a whole year for this property. Yes. yes. And then when we purchased the business property, so the acreage with the buildings on it, we bought that property with this property's value. So we actually don't have a mortgage on our property out there. The mortgage is held on this property. It's called a refi. Cash a, out refi? A cash out refi. That's exactly. what we did in case anyone's so, wondering. So we owe a, a small portion of money on this property and on that one out there, it's paid off. So we're, we're moving out to the paid off property and we're gonna be keeping this property, but just renting it out, which will cover the mortgage plus some, we'll cash flow this property. Yes. So it works out really well for us. Um, we probably to do, to do the full build out over there at that property, we are gonna have to get a loan of some type. type. I'm not sure exactly how much it's gonna be yet. We don't wanna to discuss too much into like finances in this video, this is just an update video. But eventually we will let you guys know what everything costs. Cause and we're I'll... not financial planners, financial advisors, nor are we accountants, just sure. saying. <laughs> sure, this is just our own personal, personal experiences. So where we are now in the design process is we're taking the, the one building that's 3,400 square feet that's kind of already finished and we've been working with a design firm over the past six-ish six weeks? Yeah, Month. three months. That long? Two, three months, yeah. Okay, so over the past couple, two, three months we've been working with this design firm um, and they're helping us design the interior of that building the as well as... The 3,400 square foot building that's yes. in the front of the property that's already sealed, air conditioned, and insulated. Right. So that's getting a full renovation and as well as the outside, the outside area. And then the other building, the 6,400 square foot building, that one's getting converted just to a, a warehouse space, a sealed warehouse space. And but we'll not use... air conditioned. Not, not all of it. Some all of, of it. it will be. Right. Some a of it small portion, about 800 square feet, which yes. isn't that small, but True. compared to what it's in right now that's air conditioned, right? Because the 3,400 square feet is air conditioned. So right. we're going to take 800 square feet roughly, air condition that, and then the rest of it, we're going to seal it really, really well and insulate it and have those really large fans in there to keep it a bit drier. Yeah. And potentially a dehumidifier, just depending if we need it. So, and then all said and done, at the end of the day, we'll be able to live out there and work out there. We won't have to travel 40 minutes to get to work. We'll have the best of both worlds, which is which will be great. Yes, yeah, so instead of the studio spaces being in the 6,400 square foot building, we're taking two studios and putting them inside our living space, so right. in our home. So let's talk a little bit more about the design aspect of things because it's really cool. Like this is the first time we've ever worked with the design company 
and um, they've they've really it's it's been a, an interesting experience to see like the software they use and like the walkthrough videos and all that stuff. So um, I guess we can start with the main living space, which is I think is the coolest part of the the whole thing. Okay, so the main living space I think that it is roughly a thousand square feet, which is incredibly large. We have fourteen foot tall ceilings, which is incredibly tall, yeah. and that gave us ample opportunity to put lots of activities in that space. So so much room know, for activities. So much room for activities. <laughs> we know that we're gonna have a nice large kitchen that is suitable for entertaining a minimum of like eight people, right? Mm. So that's really, really exciting. We'll be able to have a huge dining table. We're going to have a very nice large living room area and then also space for a pool table and yes. potentially like a little area for seating. But in addition to that, I thought it would be really cool if we cut into the ceiling space in the master bedroom closets and we made it into a loft. I mm. actually thought we would have like a cantilevered loft hanging up there, kind of like a gallery that you would see in New Orleans or a balcony, whichever you, whichever's the proper term for it. But the designer just cut into the ceiling space in our closets, which was amazing and super genius. And now we have extra seating up there, which will be so exciting because everybody loves a loft. It's so much fun to go up there while people are playing pool. You can hang your feet over, watch from above, and yeah. it's just gonna be such an amazing, amazing opportunity for like entertaining. And it, our lives have changed so yeah. much. We never thought we would want to entertain, and now we find ourselves like we always want to host parties and our home is too small for more than eight people. Like oh, we can't yeah. host more than eight people. It gets yeah. very crowded. Yeah. Yeah. Plus we don't really have like a backyard right now where the dogs can run. So we that's don't a, have a backyard. That's that, correct. That's a big thing too, is we're going to have like a little fenced area where the dog will be able to hang out and run around. And the, the two most exciting things for me that I like about the design space is the, the doors. So we're doing these like crazy cool almost like brewery style if you go to like a cool uh, brewery where the doors are glass or like glass garage doors and they roll all the way up and the so, term for that is a full view garage door yeah so yes. it'll give us that like indoor outdoor feel so that'll be cool and then we're gonna do um, an outdoor grill area as well and we're gonna screen it because guys remember we're in Florida it's swampy if you want an outdoor space it must be screened I mean yeah only in winter you don't have to worry about bugs but it's not winter very long in Florida. So if we want to use it more than three months out of the year, it needs to be screened in. So it will be screened in. And that's not showing in the design. The screen's not showing in the design, but that yeah. will be there as well. Yeah. Yes. So, okay, so that's the main living room space. And then, like Ali said, we're each gonna have our own studio spaces in this mm -hmm. area, because Ali likes to craft stuff. She likes to make things, so she'll have, she'll have her own space there. Yeah. And then I like to film stuff, and I wanna do like a little podcast area, and obviously the studio space and all that. So that'll be set up for me there. Um, and then on the other side of the house area, so yeah. you have the main area, and then our bedroom and everything next to it there. And then on the other side of the house is gonna be like, guest area. It's going to be all guest area. Yeah. In the laundry room. In the laundry room. Right. Yes. Um, and there are two bedrooms over there, a bathroom over there. One of the bedrooms, Ali wants to do bunk beds. So like four bunk beds, right? Yes. So it's going to be two twins on top, left, right side, twin. And then on the bottom, it will be either a full or a queen, preferably a queen, as long as everything fits. Right. The idea being, because we're kind of far away from civilization out there, the idea being if we do have a fun party or invite people out there, they have a place to crash if they want to. Yeah. Comfortably, comfortably yes. crash, yeah. so. All of our friends can just yeah. sleep in that room. And then we'll have a second guest room, which will be, you know, set up for just two people. Yeah, and then what else? Um, We'll have a huge walk-in pantry, which we're definitely true. gonna need because we're gonna pantry. be far away from stuff, so we're gonna wanna have extra right. things. The stairs leads up to the air conditioning Right. closet so that's kind of really cool and we can also store stuff up there that we might want to get to a bit more often than mm. going to the other warehouse which that's really exciting yeah. that it's just actual stairs yeah. just going up and down the stairs so i'm gonna have them definitely seal that area up there because i think it'll only be an extra probably thousand dollars to get it really right. nice and sealed so that vermin can't get in right, right. bugs animals yeah, exactly. things just We're anything be in nature so 
<laughs> creatures. Uh, oh, and a few people that have watched our videos in the past have asked about the flooding issues at the property because when it rains really hard there, we, we have had some flooding issues happen, but all of that is going to be taken care of before we before we move out there as well. We just have to and, regrade the lake. Yeah, and a lot of it has already been taken care of. Like um, the guy that lives on our property right now, we have someone who lives at the back of our property in the trailer. Awesome, awesome guy. He kind of maintains the land for us and make sure that you know everything's well taken care of and he helped us mitigate that, pro that problem where it's it's really not flooding yeah. anymore, we're gonna have so. a pipe that goes under the driveway yeah. he's gonna dig that out trench it for us and yeah. then recover it and then he's also gonna make the pond significantly larger yeah and he built a wall around our pond so none of the neighbors water that's in their yard will come into our pond so our yeah. pond is just servicing our yard which yes. is great yeah. So the whole idea behind what we're doing and why we wanted to share everything with you is because it's it's an exciting thing for us. It's something that's brand new. We've never done anything like this before. We never thought we would do this. We did And didn't. Ryan joked about this happening in our lives and I was very against it because I didn't want to live out and be a fee. True. I thought to myself living more than 25 minutes away from like a Home Depot or a Lowe's or you know, more than 20 minutes away from a large chain grocery store was not for me, but it's really not that bad. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a change in, in pace for us, because right now, like, we can literally walk to a Publix grocery store from where we live, so. Um, yeah, things are gonna change, but I think, all in all, more space, mm -hmm. better lives for both of us, better lives for the dogs, have friends over, more space for, for us to do what we want, and I don't have to drive 40 minutes a day there and 40 minutes back to get, get to work. get a lot more back. work done. Yeah, wake up and we space shop in the for a living, so on our way home, we can pick up all the things that we need anyways. Yeah. I was thinking to myself, how often do I go out and shop? I don't, I don't go out and shop because we shop for a living, so it really wouldn't be changing right. much by true, living true. out there, which is when we finally came to terms with our lifestyles, we thought it is much better yeah. to live out there because now we can have tons of people over, which is what we want to do. So we're very, very early in in this actually happening. Nothing's um, happened yet. Nothing's happened yet, besides the design. The design looks great, we're, we're almost there, and then we'll start getting you know quotes and everything from um, contractors, but it's gonna happen and we're gonna take you guys along for the ride. We'll show the construction happening and all the, you know, I'm sure there's gonna be issues and headaches that we come across, but that's part of the fun of doing it and we, we're aware of that. So I think it's gonna be a good time and the end result should be awesome. So yeah, subscribe to the channel and we'll give you guys another update when we have one. Yeah, tons of updates all the time. Sweet, anything else? Um, no, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I think that's it. Yeah. I don't know. Thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Bye. Bye.